Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, we will see what are the roles and responsibilities of an administrator in VizIQ platform. So the very first step is you will log into the platform as an administrator. Once you log in as an admin, what you can see as a landing page is the list of all the courses which have been created by various instructors which are registered under your academy. On the top left menu option, you can see there are different fields. The first field is the library. So under the content library, again you can see the entire content files which exist in your training platform and you can also see which particular instructor has uploaded the file. The administrator has two major responsibilities when it comes to the online courses and the classes. Number one is, as an administrator, you can create a course on your instructor's behalf and you can assign that course to somebody else. For example, let's say I'm creating a self-paced course and if I want this course to be assigned to, let's say, Nitish, who is actually a registered instructor in my training academy, then I can choose his name I will go ahead with the regular steps of course creation and once I publish this course, Nitish will be able to see this course once he logs in into the platform as an instructor. Now as an admin, you can also decide whether you want to have multiple co-instructors in this course or not. However, this particular privilege is also available with the teacher, which means once the course has been created by the admin and assigned to a particular instructor, then he can decide whether he wants to have co-instructors in his course or not. Likewise, we have the same setting for the live classes as well. So whenever you are creating a live class on somebody's behalf, then you get to see this form wherein you can enter the basic details and whenever you want to assign it to somebody, let's say I want to assign this particular class to Webhoof, who is again a registered instructor in my academy. Once I have created this class, this particular session will get assigned to Webhoof and whenever Webhoof is logging into the platform as an instructor, then he will find an option of launching it. So these are the two important roles which an administrator plays whenever it comes to online courses and live classes. Then there is an academy settings option which is very very important from the administrator point of view and therein we have the option of user management. So this is basically a feature using which you can start managing your users and the user management starts with the registration process. So you can register the new users into your academy either by using an email or you can upload a bulk CSV. So if I download the CSV template you find that there are exhaustive fields within this which you can enter corresponding to every user including their email ID, name, last name, a little bit of their profile, their phone numbers, their designation, the organization they belong to, who is their manager, what is the kind of role. So if I want to add somebody as a learner then I can specify learner and if I want to add somebody as an instructor then I can specify instructor corresponding to that user. I can add on the address, city, state, country and zip code. Once I have prepared this entire CSV for the list of users whom I want to register, I can drag and drop the file here and click on register option. Once this registration is done, each one of the participants will be receiving an email notification and from there they can get started their online learning journey. Under the all tab, you get to see the entire list of users. In case you have multiple administrators, then you can track those users from here. Similarly, you can track your instructors from the instructor tab and you can track your learners from the learners tab. Whenever you want to change somebody's role, then you can click on this particular option and click on change role. and Then you can decide whether you just want to make him as a learner or do you want to assign multiple roles to a specific user. Once you are done, you can click on save and that particular role will get assigned to the user. The another option which you have as an admin is editing the profile of a specific user. So let's say you want to change his email ID or password or you want to change any of the profile details. You have an option of doing the same. Once you have done the changes, you can go back to the user management. You can see you have uh, alphabet wise filters. So in case you want to filter users on the basis of their names, then you can apply the filter and the corresponding users will get listed in front of your screen. You can also see a verified field here, which means once you have done the registration process, 
until or unless the user do not accepts that invitation then that particular user will still be shown as no but whenever they have accepted the invitation then those users will become verified users under your training academy in case you want to remove your users from the academy then you can select them from here click on unregister and confirm and the corresponding users will get deleted from your training academy if we go back you see there is a transaction option here now in case you have paid courses or paid classes listed on the public catalog of your training academy and whenever any purchase is happening corresponding to any course or class then you can track all those transactions from here so you can see this is the name of the user in case uh, the user has entered the phone number you can also track it the amount which they paid the transaction ID the product is whether they have purchased a course or a class and the date of purchase in case you want to download your transaction reports then you can also apply a timeline and accordingly you can export that report to a excel file you have an account setting option wherein you get to see the plan which you have purchased from VizIQ so you can see your start and end date total number of attendees total number of or maximum number of learners which are allowed how many number of virtual rooms you have purchased and how much of storage is allowed for your particular account. Thank you so much for watching this video tutorial. I hope that this video will help you in order to administer and manage your activities as an administrator in VizIQ.